Hi, and welcome back to Does It Stack? And so after my, I'm just going to turn the music off for a moment, just so I can actually think. Um, I quite like the music, although it's a, it seemed a little too loud, maybe. But anyway, um, after my f last and first dip into this, where I actually tried the free version, pretty much as soon as I came out, um, and I was, I think I recorded something straight after this not really important, uh, but uh, as soon as I was sat down on my sofa and um, I was back in the Steam client again and things like that, I decided that um, I was going to pay the £4 or £5 or whatever it was for the full version because I, I actually liked how this worked. It seemed like a fun little thing. So I now have all of the other levels. Um, what's interesting though is, why has that got... Zero, so, so I'm fairly sure it's the basics that I did, isn't it? Was it the basics? Select a challenge. Stack the objects on black square. Make a stack with all the objects and put the blue book at the top. Ah, there's... I should do that. Hang on, but I just wanted to try a couple of things as well. Um, so there's been some changes. Apparently there's some um, accessibility changes or whatever. I'm guessing the colour set that's new default also the table height okay that's only the same selection um so i'm just trying to decide stack the objects make a stack stack all objects and get the height of your tower to 121 Right, let's start off with this again. I'm fairly sure I did this, so th this this may end up... I'm not thinking this through, am I? Um, this may be a repeat. Let's see if we can do this. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Do not press. Okay, that was new. <laughs> so let's check out the challenges. So make a stack of the objects and put the blue book on top. That can't be... Ah. Ah, okay. So and it wants us to get to there. And the blue book's got to go on top. The blue book. Ha. Ah, okay. So that goes on there, and then we can put that on there. Cool. And then the blue book can go on top. Can we get the center of gravity right? Ah. Hang on, how does this work? Am I supposed, to, is, is that good? Use all objects and put the, oh, use all objects. Hang on a second. I could go, yeah, how am I going to do that and keep the reds separate? Yeah. That's got me confused. That's got me, co one, two, three, one, two. No, I should be able to do this, shouldn't I? But I've got to get the blue book on top. Ugh, what? I could use all the objects and get the blue book on top. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Go there. No, stay there. Stay there. Oh my god. <laughs> um. I mean, I could do it like this, I suppose. I can make a stack. Put the blue on top. They accepted it. Challenges. And stack all objects and get the height of your tower to 121 centimeters. 121 centimeters. 
what's this is that like the record or something so let's think this one through we want red so I realized that basically I have started doing the same um, levels again but at least this way I'm actually trying the other challenges I didn't really pay much attention to I don't even know if there were other shit <laughs> I don't even know if there were other challenges um, there probably were this is actually really evil because you've got to gauge the center of gravity just right. On the other hand, I will say this is a great use of VR though because you do have all of that depth perception. Oh my god. What? How is it half a centimetre shot with nothing left to stack? How? What? That's not fair. I mean, the only other way I can see of doing it is that, but I would have thought that the handle... No. <laughs> okay. Uh, is, there, is there a way of pulling up the menu? No. Oh, no. Ah, restart level. Select a challenge. Mm. Let's quit level. Okay. Cup. New object unlocked. Oh, I unlocked the cup. Cool. So if I go back to... So hang on. Let me just have a look. Ah! Uh... Have I actually got the DLC installed? I'm curious now, because yes, I obviously have... I remember going through that first five, so how do I... I installed the DLC. I'm fairly damn sure I installed the DLC. So let's have a look at this Wicked Wheels. Okay, I'm actually confused now. Yes, I remember stacking those. So is it these things that weren't available before? I think they were. I, I'm going to have to um, look into this. Let's just have a look at this Christmas special. Reach a hundred centimeters. Okay. Let's start off with that. Let's put that there. Um, if I put that that way, that's a bit sus. I can separate no, that's not going to work. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to put that on its side there then. Put like, that like that. Use the sock to separate. Use that box. Use the other sock to separate. Use that box. And then the tree. Ah, nearly. Nearly. I just scraped him. One 
let me go to the next level though? Why won't it let me go to the next level? Oh, presumably because there is no next level. Make a contiguous stack with all objects, but stay under stay under 30 centimeters. Stay under 30 centimeters. Uh, well, I think, well, do that, do that, don't let them touch, because the same colors explode. Bugger. <laughs> um, how, 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 right. I can't really go any higher than that. I have to, no, that's not gonna work either. Um, oh, that actually made me jump. <laughs> that actually made me jump. See, uh, that's already over the li limit, isn't it? Okay, I give up on that one for now. I'm a little bit thrown and a little bit confused by the fact that I've bought a DLC to buy more levels. And I already did that, already did that, already did that, already did that, and already did that. What I'm, so I've, I now have that that I didn't have before. What I'm curious about that I'm gonna to have to watch back is have I uncovered the extra challenges in each of these levels is that what it is i mean as it is i don't mind oh, i unlocked something i don't mind so much and you know if i am missing something it's probably because i've just failed to install it properly or something like that and that'll be easy to sort out um but even then i i kind of feel like i have my money's worth out of this already i paid like as i say i think it was like four pounds or something like that um for the dlc and even the little playthrough i did anyway was quite fun um so let's have a look at this wicked wheels anyway so build a tower of 70 centimeters that seems fairly straightforward right right Oh, that was a really satisfying thud. That's not going to be a very stable um, base. The, the one thing I'm really appreciating about this... Oh, okay, that seemed to just get stuck in there. Oh, 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 the physics and this is not happy <laughs> i also lost something and what i was going to say though is there's a lot of vr games i've played something went bouncing off where did it go it bounced off somewhere oh there it is there's a lot of vr games i've played where you grab something and the thing you you know you kind of do that to try and grab it at that angle and you grab it and it reorients itself and put it puts itself back in the way that the game thinks you want to be holding it or the only way the game can handle you holding it and that's always a little bit disappointing so the thing i'm really enjoying about this is the fact that yeah i can just grab a thing and it stays in my hand the way i put it which is actually deeply satisfying. There we go. Next level. Oh, hang on. 
So quick level. Ah, it's adding more as I go up. It's actually stacking the levels. Okay, okay, let's go for it. Because I can go back and do the challenges. Oh, they're all balls though. <laughs> oh, um, oh, this is going to take some thinking about. So my natural inclination was to like get that and then it would have been put that in there to make another flat surface, but that's blue on blue. So that's not going to work. Um, I'm going to get to 65. Now I could, if that would stop wobbling, that's not going to be great. I was thinking, can I, uh, no, no, <laughs> that, oh, what? That's not even a flat base. That's, that's evil. That's evil. I like the space hopper. Well, shit. <laughs> I actually can't figure this one out. Can I, can I just, oh no. Whoa, damn. <laughs> I love the way he explodes. This is too much fun. Um, Right, could try this a different way. Ah, right, okay. I was hoping that maybe, let's just put that down there. I was hoping that might sit that way so I could kind of nestle a ball in there maybe. What about? Can I, whoa. No, put you there. Don't bounce away. I like the sound effects. Does that turn? I thought that base was turning round then. No. Holy shit, how do you do this one? Okay, that's a start. I'm going to make it to 65 though. What? What was that all about? I feel like I was judged then. Um, hang on. I just think, I just think, I just figured it out. There we go. I just realized that was probably going to be just about enough. Next level. Broom. Look at that broom. Oh yeah. It's so tall and slender. We could surely reach record heights with it. But how can we keep it upright? That's for you to find out. Reach 140 centimeters. Hmm. Okay. Can't be that simple, can it? Surely it can't be that simple. Oh. <laughs> I was just going to rest green against green. That would have gone so well. Okay, it was a straightforward. Next level. Oquacine? Oquacine? I never know how to pronounce that. Uh, as a rising stacking star, you're invited to a fancy dinner with fish and expensive cheese. Can you show off your skills to the table guests? 80 centimetres. 80 centimetres of cheese. Um, So I'm just galloping my way through this at the moment because I feel um, there's a lot of replayability Whoa, shh, in coming back and stay up. No, <laughs> no, 
in coming back. No, it's not going to work. Um, there's a lot of replayability in coming back and trying the other challenges. No, I was just about to put yellow on yellow. Um, think, 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 think. You on there. Put you on there. That's not going to get me high enough. Um, that's not going to balance on that. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh! <laughs> yellow and yellow well done brain <laughs> uh, I, I just was not paying it I was so um, I lost anything Hang on. I'm gonna restart the level because I can't remember if I've lost anything um, my brain was so intent on actually making that stack balance I wasn't paying any attention to the colour. What an idiot. Okay. Go with you. Wish that fish was flatter. do you think? Ah. Whoa! Come back. <laughs> ah, what am I missing here? What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, oh, I just had a thought. Use that like that. Then that should sit on, if I could get it. Upright, nicely upright. Can I balance that on there? Getting close. I'm getting so close. Um, there we go. I feel um, obsession, hobbies, overrated, dangerous, keeping you from playing this game. Maybe this is my hobby. So let's get to it and pretend you've been lifting dumbbells IRL. Yes. So 90 centimeters. Um, what was the thing I was just going to say? My brain was... Uh, about to say something. I was about to say something and then I completely forgot what I was going to say. Um, yeah, lost the plot there. Um, I'm, I gotta say, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Um, it's actually got me way more absorbed than I thought it would. Um, wow, okay. I think I remember what I was going to say. I feel that the, it is misnamed, this game. It, it's not so much will it stack as will it balance, or can I balance it? Such a cute little guitar. A um, bit undersized, though. I've got to get to 90 centimetres with this bunch of junk. Oh, there's, do you know what? There's some real... Let me put that there. I don't know if I can demonstrate this, but it seems like there is actual distribution of weight. I mean, it makes sense. It's just, I was looking at a lot of these things, imagining there's just like a hitbox and the center of gravity is going to be in the center of the hitbox and that. But I swear, that just reacted like there's more weight in this bit than there is in the rest of it. 
feels like that's how it behaved anyway. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, that is definitely being pulled over, which is actually really interesting and really clever. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh, I can't get it to stay on there. Stay there. No. <laughs> there we go, that's what I was after. I still got quite a way to go though. Now, I feel like this should be fairly light. I should just sit there. No. Oh, so close. So close. It's just occurred to me that I haven't actually considered the fact that the difference in density of the, or the weight of items in the stack is going to matter, isn't it? Like, yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. It's not like they're just gonna sit there. It's not just about the balance, it's about the, the weight as well, right? That, that's how it's coming, oh shh. That's how it's coming across. Which is actually really clever. So that's a real, hang on, I'm just going to try this. Pick something lighter. Get that. <laughs> I went to kick that watering can out of the way. <laughs> Go over there. Okay, but, well, I mean, I was curious to see if they would fall at the same speed and you would expect so in a vacuum and apparently in the arc of vacuum um i was just curious to see if like that was obviously heavier than that um physicists are going to be so annoyed at me now you know what i was trying to test though um yeah, that's new. Oh, hang on, I just thought that. What about that way it works? So, so there's that. Um, oops. That will, no, don't you dare. Hmm, I think I've met my match on this one. I think I've met my match. Oh, that's so close. Um, is this like the world record? Like, is there someone out there called Emily who managed to get it that high up? Um, no, that's not going to work. They're going to end up touching. I don't want that. It's, even if I could make that... Oh, it's yellow. F flipping heck. So, do the holes work? Ah, uh, the holes aren't there. I was hoping I could hook that in there or something like that. Oh, I'm so close. I need like, well, practically two centimeters. Um, if I had this sat on the skateboard or something like that, that, ah, 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 ha, 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 ha. 
bugger. It's a nice idea, but I got blues and yellows. It's not gonna work. That's not fair. Oh my god, this game is so infuriating. I love it. Um. That was quite impressive. I still feel like the thing this game is miss. <laughs> I feel like the thing that this game is missing is a launch bonus. Okay, I think I was onto something here though. I think I was onto something here. Ah, oh, what? I won't fit in there. It will fit at the back, but it won't fit at the front. Is that actually why? It I don't think it is wider. Oh, I think it's because these are not perfectly aligned. There we go. Right. So let's see if we can you got these knobbly bits on top though. Which don't help. No, that's not gonna work now. Um uh, oh no. That's yellow. Bloody hell. Um. Ah. There we go. Then that on there. Then I had the bike. Like that. Damn. Ah, okay. I think I can get a little bit more out of this. So put you there. And then we'll put you there. Then we'll put you there. Then we'll put... That's not as flat as it could be. Uh, well, let's settle down for a second. Then we'll put the bike. No. Try the other way. That's it. Don't tell me what to do, game. Okay, and it keeps going. It keeps going, it keeps going. All right, so I did install the DLC properly. Oh, I've unlocked some more stuff. <laughs> I like how, yeah, as you go through, you're in a lot more stuff and everything. Okay, so I, I, I don't think I paid proper attention to how many um, levels there are. And I realised that as I came in, my like, I started a little haphazardly um, because I didn't really have much of a plan because I wasn't sure what to expect having bought the DLC and everything. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it here because I d it w this is one of those games that would be so easy to binge. At least go through all the levels and stuff like that. I don't know how many there are. Feels like maybe there's 12 in total, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to check that now. But once I've actually uncovered all the levels, it would be nice to go back through and look at... So it looks like there is this thing of... Um, there's a, so we'll look at desktop drama, for example. Yeah, I'm seeing different names. So I'm assuming that that, is, I, like, is this the devs or the friends or something like that? Or is there an actual online um, uh, record of the um, record that people have managed to achieve? You know, it's obviously saving mine locally because it looks like that was where I got and that's the goal. Um, so it would be fun to come back in. Let me just go. I, yeah. So once I've gone through all the levels, it'll be fun to go and try these other challenges and stuff like that. Um, and also maybe try and chase one or two of the 
records as well, if that's what they are. Um, should probably do the Christmas ones, really, shouldn't I? While it's Christmas, what's the date today? It's actually the 23rd of December for me at the moment. Oh yeah, reach 127 millimeters and put a sock on top. Reach 120 centimeters and put a sock on So that 30 centimeter one, I can't figure the hell out of anyway. Um, 120, I don't think there's 120 centimeters of stuff there, surely. Are you taking the piss game? That doesn't even stand on its own like that. So that's, I was like, well, maybe I can anchor something on there or something like that, but even that's not going to work. Um, uh, I don't even see how I could get to 120 centimeters. That's, um, oh, that, that way, still a bit cockeyed. We'll go with it anyway. If that'll sit on there, that'll give me a flattish surface. Ah, oh, for pity's sake. And now, right, okay. Got a lot of red left. I'm nowhere near 120 centimeters. And I can get a sock on top, but <laughs> um, the only way I can see this working is if you can get the sleigh, sled, sledge, as we'd call it here. I don't know what different people call it. Toboggan. Um, the only way I can see it working is if I get it, get that to stand up. So let's just, which way does it fall? So it falls that way. So let's take the smallest box, working on the assumption that's going to be the least helpful thing. No, it's not going to make it stand up. There we go. That made it stand up. But then, Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, oh, yellow. <laughs> yellow star on top. That's so annoying. <laughs> oh, this game is so infuriating. I love it. Hmm. But the moment I put any kind of weight in. Oh, come on, that wasn't, that wasn't bad, actually. Do you know what? That was almost a thing. That was almost a thing. Let's just move that sock out of the way. It can go that way. That gives me a bit of extra height, but I think I need it that way. Come back. Don't wander off. No, that's not going to work. Hmm. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. Ho, ho, hum. That sort of sits on there. Can I then sort of balance that? No. Whoa! <laughs> uh, that is a very satisfying thing though, that explosion.
I'm trying to see if you can catch it while it's flying, but it seems not. I did like that they exploded when they collided in mid-air. Oh, missed. Come here. That, that's never going to bore me. Whoa! Where did that go? I lost a sock. <laughs> I lost a sock. I actually have lost the sock. Where did... Oh, there it is. It's over there. It's not letting me grab it. It's... At, oh, there we go. I thought it was out of my reach then. Can I sort of aim with this? Have I built a... There's a ceiling. I think there's a ceiling. It looks like it's hitting the ceiling. Well, there is a light up there, isn't there? I'm just going to cough, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Right, okay, I think that's enough of this. Um, <laughs> this was a really good buy. This is, I think I said it in my first dip into this. It strikes me as, uh, again, I don't mean this in a negative way, but it strikes me as a really simple concept. A really... Um, simple and straightforward thing to make in VR and yet I haven't seen anyone else do it and that's not to say there isn't anything out there I haven't looked at and played every VR game this is the first version of this that I've come across but it makes so much sense and it's really quite satisfying um, and it's really pleasing um, it's a great use of VR you know there's that thing of um, you get this this is not a great straight analogy but you sometimes get people looking at certain forms of art that on the surface seem simple and straightforward and they're like ah oh, my kid could have done that you know that kind of thing um but like the fact is they didn't your kid didn't they didn't think of it you didn't think of it just the fact that a concept once it's actually been conceived of seems obvious and simple doesn't mean it didn't take an awful lot of effort to hit on that simple concept. And for me, anyway, th this is the delight I'm having out of this, because while I've never... Well, I've done the very minimal amount of doing a little bit of VR coding and things like that, but nothing to do with games and things, just to, you know, see how you'd make a scene and all that kind of stuff. And it was actually just done in JavaScript and in the, in the browser VR thing and everything. Um, but like, although I've done no game development, no VR game development, things like that, I've had so many ideas for what would be, quotes great experiences in VR and great games. If you play VR games, you will have had those ideas. You will be sat there thinking, oh, why hasn't someone made? Why hasn't someone made? Why hasn't someone made? And these ideas will come churning out. And never once have I thought, why hasn't anyone made a game where you take fairly straightforward stock objects? And it's not to imply that they are stock objects, but you could do that, right? Take fairly straightforward stock objects and stack and just make it good physics and make a game out of stacking them. And then add the little twist of you can't put like to like in terms of colour. It's it's such a great idea and it's such a simple idea and it's like well, I could have thought of that, but I didn't. And that's the genius of it. That's the, uh, This is what I'm really loving about this game. Um, and I have no idea where that went. Um, and from a physics, oh, there it is. From a physics sandbox point of view, it's just deeply satisfying. It's not letting me grab it. There we go. It's just incredibly satisfying. Oh, that went in my face. I actually flinched a little bit there. Oh! Yes! I've been trying to see if I can catch them while they're in midair. I don't know where it went that time. Uh, there it is. Oh, I've got a double boom then. Oh, keep missing it. Got it. 
Ah. Uh, anyway, I need to stop here. <laughs> I could keep doing this for ages. Um, the one criticism... Let's just put the music back on. It's kind of nice music. Um, the one criticism I have of this game, and it's the thing that annoys me about some VR games, not all, but some, is there's no exit option. It's like, why? What, why is it that some devs, when they have a VR game, forget to add a quit? It, it just, I don't get it. it the, I don't know if it's just they forget or if there's a reason for it, but I'd say the vast majority of games I play in VR, there is an exit option, there is a quit option, there is some way of getting out and dumping you back in, you know, your Steam home or whatever. Um, but this one doesn't have, and it's like, it just needs to be a block there, right? It just, just quit. It, like, why? Why? Why isn't it there? Um, but that is pretty much the only criticism I can level against this game. I'm not looking, I'm not looking for things to say negative about it anyway. Yeah, that's kind of not the point. Um, and there's so much about it uh, that delights me. Um, and even to the fact that, like, I don't know if this Christmas special is, for, is there if you've bought the DLC. Or even if you're trying the free version. I, you know, I don't know. Um, but little things like that show some real thought and desire to um, delight people and it's obviously in active development as well um, like this colour set thing that wasn't there earlier uh, you know first time I came in so I'm, I mean I don't know I'm fairly sure in the release notes that was down as some kind of um, I want to say accessibility feature but that I'm trying to grab the pen there we go it wasn't quite that. I can't remember how it was phrased, but I'm going to guess that there's um, variations in colour options just for presumably people who have different forms of colour blindness and stuff like that, which seems like a really good thought. Um, I'm someone who's actually quite keen on having games take that kind of stuff into account. And also, you know, like games that should have a crouch in them and don't, for example, I. Yeah, I'm sort of in my mid 50s now. I have my knees aren't great. One of my knees is really not great. My ability to um, duck down and stuff like that is uh, I can do it, but it's awkward. It's um, uncomfortable and it takes more effort than I want to be doing in a game and games that have a crouch in them. I really appreciate because it saves me having to physically crouch. I want to physically crouch. I wish I could. One of the wonders of VR is the fact that you can actually, you know, physically do things with your body and you can get down and duck behind things and stuff like that. But, you know, I can't run around. I don't have the space to run around. So I use the thumb th sticks to run around and I want to be able to crouch and things like that as well. And there's one game, for example, that I used to play an awful lot back in the day. But I remember having a conversation during stream with the dev about like how it would be great if there was a um, crouch button. And they were really quite dismissive about the idea of doing it and used a incredibly extreme and ignorant, ignorant analogy to say why they weren't going to do it. And that just, yeah, I stopped playing the game after that because it was really obvious to me that um, it wasn't even just a lack of thought, it was an active dislike for helping people who may not be fully abled. Um, so something like this is, yeah, it's great. It's good to see that um, in a game that's just as simple and as straightforward as this. So I just wanted to highlight that because it just strikes me as really thoughtful and um, it makes me even more glad that I actually bought the um, you know the full version of this game because it's a, only a handful of pounds, but um, it's a way of saying to the dev, well, I mean, actually, I bought it before they did that, but it makes me more glad that I've, uh, I've bought it now. Anyway, I've probably spent more time waffling on about how I feel about this game than I have actually playing it. I will be back. I'm going to be back. I'm going to carry on, see how tall this stack goes, and then I'll start working through and trying to do some of these other challenges. 
Um, but from this dip into using physics to blow shit up, okay, does it stack actually? But I think it's more about trying to blow shit up really, isn't it? Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.